Hi, and welcome to Working the Yard with Will. All right, so today we got ourselves another little project here. It's a nice day out here in Zone 7A. And um, I got to deal with, deal with a little bit of mulch coming up here soon. Um, I got a delivery coming up next week. And so uh, I want to make sure that when I put it down, it's going to stay in place. So there's a couple of things to consider. Uh, when you're doing that, you can either uh, build your beds up so that the the mulch falls down to a certain point and it doesn't come out or you can use some some different tips things you can use a different couple things to help retain the mulch so this is what i got going on all right so we see here around the base of this sidewalk there's nothing really keeping keeping the mulch from coming out right here so i like the clean look of how the the pavers are sitting and I don't want to do something as aggressive as I did on this side with the metal edging. Although that's an option. I'm going to try this stuff called no dig. I'm going to try that no dig landscaping around these. And hopefully I have enough to make it all the way around. I do have some metal edging, but that's for another project. All right, let's get going. Border paper is roughly about uh, two and a half, three inches deep. And so it's a nice chunky paper to kind of let the mulch fall down into it. But in the past, I've been having issues with the mulch spilling out. So I wanted to kind of do something else. When I get down to this area, apparently something was moved that moved in. Look at the screen. Ants, ants, and more ants. So it must have been over the winter uh, all these ants had started to move down in here, or perhaps their home was there before, and I tried to do my best to cover it up. So what I'm putting down here is some diastomaceous earth, uh, as you see in the, the display there, and I'm using this little sprayer uh, because I've used several application methods. Uh, I've tried. Um, tossing it out by hand. I try uh, putting it into like a, a small cup that you get like a nursery pot in and kind of tapping it and sprinkling it around, which works sometimes if I want to put more down, but to kind of accurately spray it, I use a little sprayer and I'll be sure to add it up there in the upper left hand corner. So I'm basically going down the other side, doing the same thing, kicking the mulch back and work my way down this other side of the bed. One other thing to consider when you put down the no dig, make sure you check the box. Um, they do come with stakes, like plastic stake, to help keep it in spot. And since this pathway is a bit curvy, I needed to uh, get a few more stakes to, to keep the, the shape of the pathway. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Initially, when we put this fire bed in, we didn't. We were thinking about not doing the landscape fabric, but I'm sure glad I did because it helped out tremendously with the weeds. All right, still preparing this area. I'm using the blower there, blowing away all the excess, and getting into the box. Once again, this is no dig. I picked this particular product up at Lowe's. I want to say it was less than 20 bucks a box, and as you see, those ants were not happy with me being there. So I went a second time around with that spray, trying to calm them down a little bit before I start working in there and put my hands in it. Um, I don't know the name of the ants. Uh, we have various ants all over the property. So needless to say, it, it was just a, excuse me, I'm working through here real quick kind of situation. And I kept moving. So I have those stakes in my hand, as I mentioned. I'm going to put one at the very beginning here to kind of get me started and then just work my way down, unrolling the no dig, keeping the edge up against the, the border of the paver. And as I work myself around, you'll see a little bit of gaps there. I'm just really just trying to loosely shape it to the, to the pathway now. And as I continue to work down, I'll tighten that up a bit more. 
continue to work my way around. And I think I'm just about at the end of that first box. I end up going back to get more of the materials for it uh, because I realized that I'm going to need another box to finish off a project. Another type of, I was looking for landscape pins, like six, six inch landscape pins uh, to put down here to assist with nailing down this no dig. But I found another product. Um, it is a landscape type pin, but it's more of a plastic biodegradable type pin. Tapping it in there. And I'll show a picture of that. Those worked out just okay. But I prefer the six inch landscape pin because it just gives me a bit more bite, uh, if you will, to kind of get down into the ground and secure what it is I'm trying to secure. Okay, so there you have it. I got this down here. It's a little bit higher than the lip of a little bit higher than the lip on the pavers. Now hopefully when I pull this back, I won't be able to see but just a little bit of that black. I try to raise it up a little higher in areas where I know that the mulch was kind of coming up. And so We'll see how this goes. All right. All right, so we just finished up here. I think it looks pretty good. Just gotta get some fresh mulch down there and and I think we'll be all set. Uh, I actually ran out a little bit and you gotta go and get one more box to finish this up. But I, I like it. So once I put some fresh, fresh mulch down here, I think it'll look nice. <laughs> 